Good morning or good afternoon, parents, uh, maybe even good evening. It just kind of depends on, you know, when you're opening up uh, this uh, part of our Canvas application. Um, as everyone is aware, we are going to be using Canvas uh, exclusively. Uh, ESV is not going to be supported any longer, and we're sliding into Canvas. So I hope that each of you has recorded a, uh, or not recorded, uh, opened up an account, uh, each parent that is, open up an account for, to have your own, and then uh, your students should roll into Ed's, from ESV into Canvas already. Um, if that's not the case, contact us and we can help you out. Please remember that uh, if you log in, if you if establish an account today in Canvas, it takes about 24 hours for it to roll over and roll into actual use. Uh, we found that out uh, ourselves, and um, I apologize for that, but this is kind of a crazy situation, and you know we'll, we'll deal with it. But um, I'll shut my phone off next time. So here we are, uh, experimenting, and you're gonna. Do, uh, this is our YouTube uh, channel for Alonzo. Uh, we appreciate the efforts of Mr. Uh, Fisher, uh, who allowed us to get that set up. This is a secure. Uh, a YouTube channel. No one can access it but me, and I even I need two passwords in order to get in. Uh, one coming from Mr. Fisher and one coming from me. So I'm not going to give you mine, and he he won't share his either. So uh, you know we know it's going to be a secure channel. So thank you very much for being a part of our open house. Um, it goes without saying that this is an absolutely unbelievably different school year. This time last year, we had already begun classes. We already were here on Alonzo's campus. We had our 2,550 kids, and we were almost a week into school uh, already. This, now, we're going to open up with e-learning for a week, uh, starting Monday, and it'll be very, very, very different. Uh, we know that. However, one thing that we have to emphasize from the beginning is that e-learning, uh, moving forward, for the youngsters that, for all of us who will be on it on Monday through the week, and then for those who continue to stay in it after Monday uh, the 31st of August, it is very, very different than what we experienced last spring. In fact, it is so different, it doesn't even look or sound the same. I say to you, in all seriousness, this is school at home but it's on our terms, not your terms. And I don't mean to be rude or impolite, but this is school. And we expect our students to be in their classes, even while they're sitting at their kitchen table or in their bedroom at their desk or wherever it might be. We expect our students to be in school every day, on time, for every period. Your teachers will be working with you, and we know there's going to be er uh, issues. We know there are going to be technology issues. We know there are going to be device issues. As soon as I know when we have the devices on campus and can distribute them, you'll know. And then we'll set up that schedule so that we can uh, get them out to the parents that need them. Uh, and we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I would encourage each of you, and I'm going to be a little bit random. Uh, I, I have some things that I have to read because I'm not that familiar with some of the applications of Canvas. So I'll follow along that way. But beginning today, today is open house, and it's different. And you know, I hope that you have clicked on, or once you're once you're done uh, with this video, and I'll be another probably 12 minutes or so, um, uh, that you click to the homeroom and the modules, and you do what you need to do. Visit your classroom, visit your teachers. Each of them has prepared a little blurb about their course of study, about what to expect, and you know how we're going to deal with this. The focus of next week the 24th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. The focus is all on getting you, the parent, and especially our students, acclimated and comfortable with Canvas. Even some of our teachers. This is a work in progress. Uh, it's a radical change from what we're used to, and our teachers are learning even as we speak. I have said to them, and I'll say to you, the airplane is about to take off, and we know it's not completely built. We're going to be repairing it, we're going to be fixing it, we're going to be building it as we fly over the next couple of weeks and months until we're back to a more normal routine. So 
So that's where we are at this point. I urge you to go to our website, our schedules for early release day and also for traditional day are posted on our website. I suggest you print them. I suggest you write them down. I suggest you set an alarm clock. I suggest you do whatever it takes in order to be in class on Monday at 8.40 a.m. and then follow the instructions of our teachers. Uh, we'll make it as clear as we can. But the focus of next week is really to make sure Canvas is working for you, Canvas is working for our parents, and Canvas is working for our teachers and our school. Instruction will begin on Monday the 31st when we will have some of our students return to face-to-face -face instruction and some of them will continue on into the e-learning environment. Please be aware that the sign-up or the survey that's online for you to uh, elect face-to-face um, -face or uh, e-learning uh, or change from face-to-face -to e-learning -face to e or vice versa will close at the end of the day on Thursday. That's today. I'm taping on Wednesday so we can upload this, but on Thursday that will close. So if you haven't made your choice or if you want to make a change, you need to do it by the end of the day today, Thursday, and that would be the 20th of uh, August, okay? All right. So we're going to talk next week about the details and requirements and procedures for returning to school uh, if you choose to go face to face. As of today, we have about 50% of our students electing to come back to the building and we have about 50% of them electing to go and remain on e-learning. We have a small percentage of our students who have elected to enroll in HVS. That, uh, that opportunity is also closed. There, is, there are no more registrations available. We are registering students here at Alonzo Daily, and we will continue to do so right up until we don't have any more. Uh, but as of today, we are approaching 2,700 students enrolled at Alonzo. Some of them may never show up. If they do, that number will drop, but we're registering new ones each day. So we're going to be in the 2,650, 2,700 range when we actually return to a face-to-face -face environment. So we will continue with that. Uh, the schedule that you can see, and I'll hold it up in front of my camera, this is the schedule. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's our traditional and our uh, international baccalaureate schedule. Our IB program opens up on Monday as well. Uh, we have six great teachers, uh, seven great teachers actually, and, and a great administrator who will lead that program. We are looking forward to it. We are still a candidate school, and we will be moving forward to become fully accredited sometime by the end of the school year. So, what's happening today? What's happening today is we hope you're looking at this video via Canvas. If you're looking at it on your website, then uh, we hope that you, on our website, we hope that you have the opportunity to get enrolled into Canvas. And again, we know there are issues with, uh, we know there are issues with Canvas and getting logged in. We're going to work with you. We know there are going to be issues with connectivity. We know there are going to be issues with multiple students in a household. Uh, as soon as we get laptops, we'll distribute them and then and, and move on. So, as you know, we now have a YouTube channel dedicated to Alonzo High School. It's going to be on Canvas and it'll be on our website. Don't forget to apply for free and reduced lunch if you think you're eligible. Even if you don't know what the criteria are, go to our website, go to the district website, click on free meals, follow the instructions, complete the application, just in case you're eligible. Uh, why not take advantage of it if you can? The same thing with paying for your lunches. Remember, we do not accept any money for lunches at this point. It's all done online. Canvas, Canvas for Students is still up and running, and it's very good for you to do. Don't forget also, if you have uh, questions that you'd like us to answer, we're going to be doing a video program just like this one. It'll be available tomorrow. Uh, to our parents. It's a pigeonhole application. It's new. We use it here at the district as well. And I will repeat it. I will say it is pigeonhole, P-I-G-E-O-N-H-O-L-E, pigeonhole dot 
at AT, not the end, not the circle, front slash Welcome Back Ravens in capital letters. So that's pigeonhole dot at front slash Welcome Back Ravens. That is the pigeonhole area. You can put your questions in. We're going to shut that off uh, Thursday morning. So if you haven't uh, submitted a question, it'll be too late then. But there'll be other opportunities for you to do so. Okay, school day on Monday starts at 8.40 and it will end at 2.45 because it is an early release day. And we will uh, be dismissing our students. Again, don't worry about next week. Let's worry about Monday, August 24th, and Tuesday, the 25th, and Wednesday, the 26th, and so forth. Don't worry about the week after. I'll have another one of these sessions for you uh, that you can view, and we'll talk much, much more about the um, uh, opening on August 31. Once you're um, you know, into Canvas, uh, one, and you need to go to your student's home room. Homeroom is a course, and that's the vehicle we'll use to uh, upload these videos, uh, upload instructions, give you information, and so forth. So Homeroom is a course, and the homerooms for all of our faculty are linked together so that every student in Canvas who has a homeroom, and everybody does, if you click on Homeroom, you will have the opportunity to get these videos as well uh, from there. Uh, once in your homeroom course, please click modules on the left to find the open house video. If you're watching this video, you've already done it. Uh, but that's a reminder for future work that you can also uh, get there as well. Please visit all your courses on the course page and uh, you know, you'll find open house information under modules. So please make sure you're taking advantage of that. So moving forward then. Uh, make sure that you log into Canvas with your own account. Um, once you're in Canvas, they find your home room, which you've done. And uh, if you, uh, you'll learn about the course, you'll learn about your teachers, you'll learn about the syllabus, the supply list, and so forth. E emphasis, you know, during the week of the 24th, everybody should be on e-learning and e-learning for students. Uh, so that's you know, the focus for, ne for next week. Um, attendance is absolutely imperative. When you get into the courses, we need to take attendance every period. As you know, one of the big, big, big obstacles of continuing e-learning uh, for four weeks as originally planned by the board was attendance. Student attendance seat time. We call it full-time equivalent, FTE, and it means this. The state provides us with state aid support financially for every student who is in attendance at a class or in a school. This is critical. It is absolutely critical. Every period, every course has an attendance quiz, if you wish. Click on it at the beginning of the period. Take it. Do what you need to do. It's a simple thing. It's not very difficult. This is not rocket science. Click on it. And then it'll roll into the teacher's um, uh, account. They will uh, take the attendance and transfer it over to EdConnect. But we are required, required. This is not an option. You need to take uh, that quiz every day, every period that you are in your courses. And then we will roll it into EdConnect. Attendance is mandatory. If we don't, you know, the first week again, we know we're going to have kids not there. There because kids who are coming to school face to face may not be signing on. They may not have a computer. We don't know these issues yet, but we will adjust as we can. But we will be taking attendance every day, if nothing less for a trial run as to how we do this. So we'll talk much, much more about the 31st in our next conversation. But just as a, a couple of points now, if you need to come into Alonzo, once you see your child's schedule, and they will, they should be in your Canvas this morning, Thursday morning. Uh, as I said, I'm taping on Wednesday. They're going to roll tonight. They'll be in your Canvas tomorrow morning. The teachers are publishing their schedules now. That's just a term that we need, that they're going to activate their courses today. They will roll overnight. They will be in your Canvas tomorrow, uh, Thursday, and when you open up Canvas. 
So uh, if, you, if you see something that is grossly wrong, I already took chemistry and I'm scheduled for it again. That's a schedule change that will be necessary. If you elected to take a course and you said, well, you know what, I changed my mind, don't bother even asking because we are not making schedule changes at all until we are much further into a normal school year. No schedule changes except those that are obvious errors, like the one I just mentioned, will be made. None. None. So please don't even bother to ask. If you said, well, I wanted this, but I got this, and I want to change, no. If you say to us, hey, I took biology last year and passed it, and it's on my schedule again, that is an, is, is an acceptable um, change of a schedule. If you need to come into the building, if you need to come onto our campus prior to August 31st, we er encourage you, please call ahead. Reach my secretary, reach one of the secretaries, and, and just say, hey, is Mr. Hart available, or is Mr. Harris available, or is my guidance counselor available? We're, making, we're not making hard and fast appointments, but we need to make sure that we don't have everybody in the world coming onto our campus. When you do come to the main office, you'll see instructions there. If you come inside, once you're, once you're admitted in, you must have your mask on. I know this is an issue for some people. It is not an issue here. It is not an issue here. Put your mask on or you don't come in. It's that simple. Don't come in. We will greet you and meet you and direct you to where you need to go, uh, but you must have your mask on. We will practice safe distancing wherever we can. Uh, and if we're in a cafeteria and it's you and me, if you're six or eight or ten feet away from me, you can take your mask off. Uh, other than that, you don't take your mask off. It's just that simple. There is a, uh, some exemptions available for students, but they will be strictly monitored and strictly enforced. Medical documentation will be required before we allow a student not to wear a mask on campus. And I say this to you in all seriousness. I don't care whether you're red, blue, white, green. I don't care what your political affiliations are. It doesn't matter to me. This is what we do at Alonzo. This is what's being done throughout the district. You need to wear your mask. If you, parents, are electing not to have your kids wear a mask, then I urge you, please, choose e-learning. You don't need to wear a mask at your house, but you need to wear a mask here unless very strict criteria are met. That's another issue on another day, and we'll cross that bridge next week. And I am going to be closing here in just a minute uh, by saying to you, it is great to see you. I look forward to being able to see our students, even though their faces will be covered, and they'll be wearing masks properly. Please remember, and I'm going to take my mask, please remember that your nose needs to be covered, your mouth needs to be covered, your chin needs to be covered. Just like this. I feel like a bandit, but you know what? I'm going to protect your kids' health by wearing my mask, and I'm expecting you to help them, or help me, protect my health, and to protect the health of our students by wearing your mask. So, this is going to be new. This is a new experience. This is nothing like we've ever had before. I've been in education for longer than many of you have been alive. I have never experienced anything like this in my life in my life but we'll take it a day at a time we'll roll with it and remember this is alonzo we do it the right way we will educate our kids the best we possibly can but we need your help and we're looking forward to that help so i thank you for listening uh, we will continue our parent link messages giving you more and more information kind of doling out what's necessary Remember to check your Parent League text. Remember to check your Parent League emails. Remember to go to our website. Remember to go to the district website. Remember to check in Canvas. Remember to look at these videos because we'll start giving you instructions as to you know what you can anticipate. Again, it is my pleasure. It is my honor to serve here as your principal. I'm delighted to be at Alonzo, and I'm delighted to have all of your kids be a part of our student body. It's great to talk to you. Have a great day, and as always, go Ravens.